So that was about finding a resource state. Because there's no point in jumping into thinking about all the things you really, really want if you're approaching it from the feeling they usually have at the end of a hard work day. Oh boy, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, next I gotta, uh, gotta concentrate on my heart's desire. Yeah, right. You know, I mean, that's not gonna get you to where you wanna be. Um, that's not even gonna get you success in the gym. You know, if you go, oh god, I gotta lift the weights. You know. But, um, so how was that for you guys? <laughs> yeah. So you were flying. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. Uh, how about you guys? Okay. Yeah. Any difficulty? Any confusion? Any boredom? Any not so good feelings? Um, when, I, when I was feeling it, I mean, I was feeling really good in the game. And I, I don't know, my eyes started getting itchy, so I kind of disturbed it. Uh huh. Okay. But like, yeah, like the first half was like. The, the spread and the mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it, what's funny is sometimes people will work on this sort of thing, um, or, you know, in NLP we do this uh, very often uh, to find specific emotions that, that people have in, in different places. Um, and you concentrate on just like purely feeling great. And you'll find people, you'll see them sitting there. This was lovely. <laughs> I have to remind myself that oh, mm -hmm. I have to be happy. And then again, you know, I would. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you know, it's funny because you have just that pure feeling of joy, right? But yeah. and <laughs> right, but really, and you should pay attention to those things. You don't want to just ignore if you're if you're like, ah, oh, oh, you know, it, because what's happening is you're coming up with the initial feeling of, of you know if you found it, and then all of a sudden you go, oh. and and what that is is that somewhere along the line something maybe not so good got hooked onto that. And if you don't examine those not so good things that are attached, they're always going to be dragging you a little bit. But like you have to keep forgetting those things. Or well, not necessarily forgetting, um, because if you okay. if you forget it, that's really more like ignoring it. Yeah, ignoring. And it's probably going to come back. So it's better if you find um, again the feelings are really important, especially dealing with the subconscious, because your feelings are your subconscious talking to you. It's um, and telling you things you should know. So if you're ah oh that oh is something that's been attached because there's no reason you shouldn't feel great especially when you're just feeling great for you know just being happy to be here or whatever it is um, but if you find there's something attached to it see what it is because it may have been um, I mean very often some people especially if they have like a strict upbringing they're told you know it's bad to feel happy you, say, well, you have no reason to feel happy which is a terrible thing to tell a kid but, um, but people sometimes do um, and so what happens is, and that sort of thing, which seems innocuous enough, is going to limit your success. Because if, um, if every time you feel really happy and you want to just jump and skip around the house and you remember your grandmother going, stop that, you know, um, then when you start to be successful in business and all of a sudden the money's coming in, in the back of your mind, stop that. You're going to do that and you're going to apply it to your business. And people have all these self-sabotaging behaviors. And they started out as something that was planted at the time. Um, and it may have served a purpose at the time. Um, you know, maybe when you were feeling really joyful, you, you weren't an annoying kid. <laughs> you know, it was, it was to your best interest not to annoy the cranky elderly relatives you, worked with, you lived with. But once you're an adult and you're on your own doing your own things, um, there's no value to you to still be worrying about the feelings of cranky, unhappy elderly relatives. That's a bad example. I don't know why you came that. But, um, but uh, or, I mean, better, you know, we talk about phobias, right? And, um, you know, little kids see dogs and, ah, they love the dog, and that makes them happy. You know, if you ever see little kids are into animals, and, you know, ah, 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 you know they just love it. but. Um, and they have that joyful thing, you know, and puppies and kittens are always joyful, you know. Because, um, you know, I guess when you're here, you know, you have to learn to be unhappy. And, you know, so typically you start out happy and, and you know, and life teaches you to be miserable. <laughs> <laughs> and then you grow up. When there's no joy left, well, then we've, we've, we've got our job. You know, but, um, yeah, but if, say, one kid gets bitten by a dog, all of a sudden that kid now has a negative association. You know, and he's going to see the puppy, 
and you take the three three kids at random, you put them in a room with a puppy, two of the kids go, ha, ah, and the third kid goes, ha, ah, oh, and that's the negative association, you know, and you want to find out what those negative associations are and, um, and, and unhook them. So if you find there's anything dragging, because we're just going to get an abstract happy feeling, you know, so if you're just charging up that feeling of like, ah, happiness, and something's tugging at you, it's a good time to get a little introspective and maybe explore a little bit and find out what it is. Um, and you can just follow that feeling. Uh, because at the same time, we're dealing with just general feelings. And if you're approaching that feeling of happiness and you feel, I'm happy, but, and there's this indefinable but, if you start to focus on it a little bit, because emotions are attached to memories, because emotions are the way we file memories, chances are eventually the memory will come up. It may come up immediately, or it may be a chain of memories leading back to something. And it can be something very innocuous, you know, and you don't have to work hard at it, but just take a minute, find that happy feeling. And when you find the happy feeling, if you find the negative attachment to it, just explore that the way you were exploring that feeling of happiness. And chances are the situation will come up to you. And now that you're an adult, and if you can see, you know, when you were a little kid, the dog bit you, and the dog looked enormous to a kid that's scary, but as an adult, if you revisit that, knowing that, yeah, it's just a little dog, it may have been a Yorkshire Terrier, or a miniature poodle, you know, and then you can see that, and you see, okay, yeah, well, I was a kid then, you know, and obviously it was more scary. And um, um, in hypnosis, we call it the informed child method. You actually regress somebody back to a time when, when a trauma happened as a child, but when they go back, they're still adults, and they know everything they know as adults. And so they can see the scene and like replay the movie. And you can do it yourself and re-examine these things. And you'll know, because <coughs> if you keep practicing this, when you get to the place where you have that feeling of happiness and you're just generating it, you shouldn't feel any anything tugging at you, anything putting the brakes on you. You know, um, so and it's just it's an interesting thing to practice. And if you're goal setting and you find things are pulling you back, or things just don't quite work out, um, well, if it's the economy, chances are it's not you. Okay, the law of attraction says the economy is bad because there's one guy who's thinking negative thoughts, you know. But chances are, you know, there are things that are outside of your control. But um, on the other hand, if you're going on a lot of job interviews and you get this close but you don't get it, I mean, there may not be many jobs out there, as many as there used to be, but you only need one, you know? And so even if there's only 50% um, of the jobs there used to be, the person looking for a job only needs one job, you know, personally. Well, maybe two jobs if they're going to try to buy a house or something, but, um, but they don't need all the jobs, you know? And so if a person finds this is getting very close to their goal, and something always goes wrong. It could be one of these little things that have been sort of attached to their happiness that says, well, you don't have a right to be that happy. Or you haven't earned it yet. You know, there's, a, there's another funny one. Um, uh, the whole idea of earning, we have, um, it's actually an instinctual behavior uh, called reciprocation. And um, the idea that um, in order to get, you have to give. In order to give, you have to get kind of a thing. And it, it does make sense. It does serve a purpose. But some people, depending upon how they feel about themselves, feel they have to work very, very hard in order to get something. Because chances are they may not feel as good about themselves as they should. And even when something is very close, they don't feel they've worked hard enough to get it yet. So they have to work a little harder. And other people will put themselves in situations where they have to work impossibly hard, you know, because they're trying to prove to themselves that they have to get this thing. Meanwhile, you got this other guy as a total schmuck who's so full of himself, he feels he should get stuff without having to do any work, you know, and he'll do this much work and he'll be able to reap the benefits, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, moral uh, decisions aside, a lot of it has to do with how you feel about yourself. So the better you feel about yourself, the generally the less work you have to do to get results. And if you can feel great about yourself and get great results without being a jerk, that's even better. You know? But and it really all boils down to just being able to access 
feeling good about things.